Hello. Today, Mara is going to share with us her precious recipe for chicken curry. Over to you, Mara. So here, my pan is nice and hot. So I put in my chicken. And I toss off the chicken in a little bit of oil until it's nice and brown. Then I add in um, my onions. I toss them around, the onions and garlic. Gives it okay. a nice... Now I add in a little bit of flour. Now what does that do, Mara? It, it gives it a nice uh, saucy finish. That's okay. Okay, and then I add some stock. Uh, this is a chicken stock, yes. Can we just use a plain uh, chicken cube? Chicken cube, stock cube yes. A stock cube, yes. I like to use organic where possible, um, but certainly um, normal one, normal chicken, normal chicken stock, stock is, okay. is good. Now, I put in some spices. Oh, this spices is, this is uh, cumin and coriander. And cinnamon also gives, gives it a lovely flavour. I'm putting in some raisins. Is this quite a mild curry? It's very, very mild, and okay. um, I'm going to add in, at, towards the end, a coconut, which gives it a lovely sweetness, and it makes okay. the, the dish quite mild. Okay. So this is nearly like an all, this is quite it's a It's an all-in-one, all in one. One. yes, it's yes. You're adding your vegetables? All my vegetables. What have you just got, leeks? Uh, leeks and carrots, and... Um, it gives it a nice colour as well. And some apple. An important ingredient. Yes, is it is. Sweet, sweet apple That's a sweet a Granny Smith apple I like to use. You can use a cooking apple, of course. Okay. A little curry paste to, or a little tomato, excuse me, tomato paste to, um, to thicken it. Okay. Does it matter if it's curry paste or tomato paste? Um, in fact, I'm using a little of both. The, cur the, the curry uh, gives a lovely flavour and enhances the coconut and brings up lovely flavours. What's that, Mark? This is the curry paste. Okay. And just go into the supermarket, get normal curry uh, Yes, yes. There's a lot of different flavours, so it depends on your taste. If you like it mild or very hot okay. or spicy, there's... Plenty of nice. Um, so people can adjust this recipe to their own taste. To their own taste, yes. Now I'm going to add a little more stock. Let it simmer for about 40 minutes, and then we can either do this in a casserole or in our saucepan. Okay. So the coconut just finishes, finishes the, the all the nice flavors. Lovely. So this can be cooked on the cooker or we can put it into a casserole and cook it very nice and slowly in the casserole. Okay. So now Sharon, mm. our curry has, uh, has finished cooking. Um, I'm going to add um, a tablespoonful of um, creme fraiche to finish off. Okay. It gives it a lovely um, refreshing uh, flavour and very healthy option. So what's ideal to serve with this more? Uh, rice, ideally, but potatoes go very well with it as well. Okay. A nice finish with our creme fraiche again. Coriander is a lovely complement for um, anything to do with the curry and the coconut. Okay. Smells delicious. Good, good, good.